As you can see, I literally just woke up and like I still have coal in my eyes and I'm tired and I'm laying here and I'm half nude and I have pigtails, pigtails in my hair. But I'm gonna take you virtually shopping with me, and what that means is I'm gonna go on the Walmart app and I'm going to get my groceries for the month and um. I'm going to let you see some of the stuff that I like to eat and some of the things that I like to buy and stuff like that that are healthy options and healthy choices. And we're going to discuss everything and why. So stay tuned for that. So I just wanted to make this video or whatever and show you how I shop and how you should break your shopping down especially when you're meal prepping or when you're doing stuff for a purpose as far as weight loss and consumption um so yeah and then I'm also not gonna buy all of my stuff from Walmart um, but this video is going to be the stuff that I do buy from Walmart. And then another video, you're going to see me actually in person going to Sam's Club and getting my meats from Sam's Club. Um, we might even stop at Kroger's and go inside of Kroger's and see what they have also. So, um, but we're just going to focus mainly on what I buy online from Walmart and what I have them deliver to my home. And I know I shouldn't be on camera. I know I shouldn't be on camera looking like this. I haven't even washed my face or brushed my teeth yet or done anything at all. But um, I wanted to let you guys know that I was thinking about you guys. So I wanted to come on here and say, Grand Rising, Grand Rising, and good morning. Peace kings and peace queens. And I am glad that you're tuning in and watching me. And I, I just wanted to let you know I was thinking about you. And I want to be as real as possible in these types of videos. I want to be transparent with you guys. Because if you were at my house right now and I was laying down, I would be like, come in here, come in here. I'm about to order from Walmart. What do you want? You know? So I'm going to be the same way on camera. I'm going to be me. I'm going to be myself. If I look a hot mess or not, I'm getting ready to brush my teeth and get dressed and take a shower and stuff like that. But I will be coming back online uh, screen sharing my phone. Screen sharing my phone because I want you guys to see me on the app, on the Walmart app, because this is a virtual Walmart grocery store video. And I want you guys to see me on the app and what. I buy from Walmart. So when you go to Walmart, you know what to buy and what to order and what to get and what to buy and what to order. Because you don't always have to go to Walmart physically. You can always order online. So anyways, I'll be back with that grocery list. Yeah. Already sharing the screen. We're sharing the screen. Um, and let me show you some of the options as far as what you can get in the store, what you can pick up, and stuff like that. Because so far, what I have in my cart is... Cranberry. Cranberry juice. So they're out of just eggs. So I'm just going to transfer that into later. Okay. So. This, let's go to the thing. I like, cranberry juice has a lot of vitamin C. It has a lot of health properties. And it cleanses the liver and kidneys. But you don't want added sugar. Um, this one looks to, seem, to be okay. It's, um, 
zero trans fat, only 25 grams of sodium, which is a plus. And then um, it looks like it only has 23 grams of sugar um, included, no added sugar. So let's get that. And that's pretty decent. And then you get, um, you get almost 101 ounces. Now, this one is a little bit smaller. And you only get 32 ounces. And let's see what, the, what it says on the back of here. This one, it, it states up front, unsweetened um, cranberries. Okay, so I, I don't know if that's saying that the cranberries wasn't sweetened at all or was the previous ones. I don't know. But let's zoom in on it. We'll go to the next slide. This one, this one looks a lot more healthier to me. To me. Okay? It has um, 9 grams. But you do... Let me see how many ounces is this. We have to go to the calculator. Okay, so Okay, so let's see. Where is my calculator? Let's do this. Okay, so thirty Two times three. So let's see. We're let's say we're getting three bottles. That would be ninety six ounces. Okay, which is a little bit under by maybe five ounces. That's five ounces under the one big bottle that we just seen. Okay, and they said that it was nine grams. Well, not nine grams, but it said that it was yeah nine grams. Nine grams, so nine times three, 27. 27 grams of sugar for three of these bottles, okay? And it says it's not included any, um, it's not including any sodium. So, so if I get three bottles all together, it will be 27 grams, okay? Now, let's go back to the big bottle and see how many grams in this, 23. So, it's better to get this one because you're only getting 23 grams all together and you get 101.4 uh, ounces of juice. So, we can take this one off. Sometimes I put multiple things in the cart. Okay? So, let's start with my vegetables and the types of vegetables that I like to eat. I eat a lot of cabbage, a lot of leafy vegetables, a lot of things that I know that's going to be good for the body for me. Okay? So, let's just type in greens. <sighs> <sighs> Sorry, I'm I'm yarning. <sighs> okay. Now we're looking at kale. I don't have to tell you how healthy kale is. I hate kale. I freaking 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 hate it. I can't mix it up in a salad. It doesn't taste good raw to me personally. I do not like kale in a smoothie. I can have spinach in a smoothie, but I can't have kale. Kale has to be cooked for me. It has to be steamed or cooked. And when it is cooked, it tastes like turnips or mustard greens or collard greens. So since it's only a dollar and eighteen cents, I like to load up on a lot of this kale this stuff right here. Let's just get okay, so. For some odd reason, now they're putting a damper on it. So let's just get four, because I guess four is the maximum. Because you used to be able to get as many as possible. Um, it looks like they do have turnip greens. And sometimes I may... Oh, it's only two to the max. That's weird. 
Um, sometimes I get these turnip greens and I mix it in with the kale. Let's see. Maybe it's two to the maximum for this one too. Oh no, I guess they have plenty of this on stock. <laughs> and I get mustard greens. I also love cabbage. I eat a lot of cabbage throughout the day for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Because cabbage is basically one of those water condensed foods. So you get plenty, you stay plenty dehydrated, I mean, plenty hydrated without all of the calories. So if you were to um, make, uh, what is that called? Um. Huh. If you was to make the cabbage soup and you were going to be on that cabbage soup diet, then it wouldn't, um, it wouldn't, you can eat it all day, several bowls, and probably would be under 500 calories if you was to eat a whole pot. That's just how calorie, uh, not dense it is, <laughs> but it will fill you up. Um, I only get one of these because this is not the cabbage of my choice. So I'm going to type in cabbage so you can see the cabbage of, the cabbage of my choice. And um, I like bok choy. Um, what else? Oh, if they have organic, always get organic. Boom. Um, yeah, I like Napa cabbage. Oh, my God. And this purple cabbage. People just have it on top of salads or have it shredded in salads or, you know, and things of that nature. Purple cabbage is one of the best cabbage you can eat. It's one of the best. The darker, the whatever the vegetable is, it's the best. And I'll put in a small little video talking about um, the benefit of purple cabbage. So you can see why I tend to get two always. Um, I love Napa cabbage. I remember I made some um, kimchi. <laughs> and um, I had to order all these um, foreign ingredients and stuff like that because I didn't have them in the States. But um, kimchi is very beneficial as well. Let's see. Let's keep on going. Oh, speaking of kimchi, they have some down here. But you they have it like where you have to get it in the bulk. And I don't want to get it in bulk. I really don't. You know? I don't see bok choy down here. This is also another cabbage that I love to get. And I tend to get two of these. And don't get all of these at once if you're not going to eat it. But I eat a lot of it. So I get it all at once. So I don't have to be doing a lot as far as going back and forth to the grocery store. Um, let's go back. Um, I'm addicted to potatoes. But um, potatoes are not good for me. But I always get some potatoes. Because... Uh, they're not that bad if you if you are not frying them, you know. Don't be afraid to get what you like. Um, you can always um like I always used to get a ten pound bag. So instead of me getting a ten pound bag, I slowed that down to getting just a you know instead of me getting a ten pound bag, I went down to just getting a five pound bag and um it is on sale well it looks to be on sale for 20 well not 20 for two dollars and 24 cents so i got 19 items in the cart so far and i'm only at 30 dollars
Um, I love sweet potatoes. They are they are definitely a better alternative. They are definitely a better alternative. Now, if you want French fries, you can cut you up maybe one potato and uh, drizzle it with a little bit of healthy fats like olive oil or um, any type of healthy fat of your choice. Season it up real good and put it in the um, air fryer, or you don't have to put any oil in there. The air fryer crisps everything up to perfection. Okay, so uh, I always get one of these because sometimes I may be hungry and I'm like, oh, God, I'm so hungry. And then I just put one of these in the oven, uh, one of these sweet potatoes in the oven or whatever. So you can. As you can see, I'm talking about this. I put one of these sweet potatoes in the oven with aluminum foil. So I'm going to be meal prepping and showing you how I meal prep. So I'm taking you through the list of the groceries that I'm buying. So if you want to follow along with me, because I will be going over my diet plan. We can get things cracking. We can get things going, I mean, by shaking Cracking, shaking. You know what I mean? Get things going. So, if you like, I want to follow along too, but I don't know what to get. You know, this is a perfect um, video to watch to to know what to get as far as those things are is concerned. Okay. So, um, yeah. So, I'm very simple with my shopping and things of that nature so we're just gonna so far i'm only at 40 dollars we got the juice that i like um which is the cranberry juice which is very good for you um the sweet potatoes which is very good for you and um the napa cabbage which is very good for you the bok choy cabbage the red cabbage the regular organic green cabbage, the uh, um, the fresh spinach, I mean fresh um, mustard greens, and then we have the turnip greens, and we have um, the uh, kale, and we have the potatoes. So um, we're gonna go back to the vegetables because I love celery. But I'm not going to get my celery from here. Um, I'm going to get my celery from Sam's Club because it comes in a big jumbo container. But if you don't have a Sam's Club membership, okay, <sighs> sorry about that, you guys. I'm all yearning. If you don't have a Sam's Club membership, please get your celery here. Get it here. Get it here. Get your celery stocks here at Walmart if you do not have a Sam's Club membership. Okay? Because I want you to have the ingredients in your house, what I'm using for my meal prepping, okay? I just want you to have it. I want you to have it. So, um, if you have to pause this video and put these items in your cart, then go ahead. I'm going to get two cans. Well, no. Let me stop lying. I'm going to get four cans of this. Which is valued diced tomatoes with green peppers, celery, and onions. That sounds so delicious. So, I'm going to one... Two, a three, a four, four in the cart. Um, 
it's not much I have to get as far as the seasoning is concerned. Let me look at this, cause I don't see. And see, I walk at uh, at um at Sam's Club. They have celery stalks like this, and it's already cut and pre-cut away. So this is kind of what I will be getting, like from Sam's Club, but in a more jumbo pack. So now that you have your celery in your cart. Let's look at the frozen vegetables. Because as long as you're not getting vegetables in a can, because you don't want vegetables, canned vegetables that's been sitting in salt water and that's old and it's not good for your health at all. It's not good at all. I tend to get one of those. Um, I tend to get two pounds. Because it's already said, it's al it already says two pounds. So it's no point of getting a small bag and having to get two bags when you can just get this one big bag that has two pounds. Um, I also tend to get this as well. One bag of that. Because you can cut up chicken. You can cut up like one chicken breast in here and cook half of this. And that can be your lunch. Um, you got your veggies and you got your protein from your chicken. And a lot of vegetables already have natural proteins. Outside of the nutrients that they have. Frozen vegetables are just as good as fresh vegetables. The only difference is, is that they get these vegetables when they're first picked out of the garden. And then they cook them a little bit. And then they freeze them immediately while they're at their freshest. Okay? So, yeah. But the canned vegetables is certainly nothing that you need to get. So, I tend to get one of them. Let's keep on going. And then, I also get one of these. I get, typically... two of these because you can make yourself a nice lunch um with this you can make yourself some um some chicken fried rice and basically all you would need is one cup of this one cup of rice and then a half of a chicken breast and a little bit of soy sauce and crack one egg and scramble it up with your food and that is the best chicken fried rice you'll ever have or you can do it with shrimps if you like shrimps i don't eat shrimps because i have a very kosher diet and i don't eat anything that i consider unclean outside of leviticus 11 so i always tend to get two of these because you never know what you might want to mix it up with so i always get two of those um, so if you want to pause the video and put two of those in your cart, go ahead. Now, sometimes it's very hard to come across zucchini, zucchini, but it's not hard to come across zucchini. Uh, but if you don't, if you don't see yourself cooking it immediately, you can get two bags of this. Uh, the zucchini, the frozen zucchini. It looks like zucchini mixed up with squash. Yellow squash. But, um, I always get fresh. But you know what? I'll get two of these. Because lately, I haven't been cooking them immediately. And then they get old and I'm like, holy crap. I love Brussels sprouts. Brussels sprouts are very good for you. It helps with a lot of things. And I don't want to make this video super long. So that's why I keep saying a lot of things instead of getting into a lot of details about the Brussels sprout. But I never really get frozen Brussels sprouts. But if if you can't come across fresh Brussels sprouts, you can get frozen 
Brussels sprouts, and that's good too. But let's check and see if they have actual fresh, fresh um, Brussels sprouts. Because they might, oh, they might have some. We never know. And they do have fresh Brussels sprouts. Okay, so it's no point of paying. It's no point of paying three dollars and eighteen cents for only you know twelve ounces when you can get this. For two dollars and ninety nine cents, and you get one pound, and one pound is basically thirty two ounces, which is a little bit over double than this. So yeah, always go with this or what's on sale. And if you don't want to get fresh, and you want to get frozen, you can get frozen. But I always get this. So this will be number one, and this will be number two. Yeah. So, I'm going to get two bags of this because I love Brussels sprouts. So, as you can see, I get a lot of my veggies and stuff like that from here. So, let's go back to vegetables and type in vegetables to see if there's any more vegetables that I want to get from Walmart before I go over to the fruit. Oh, I love these. A little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, um, black pepper, um, a little bit of paprika, and a little bit of garlic. Ah, oh, match made in heaven. I eat a lot of broccoli as well, so um, I'm going to get two of these. Boom. Because, and, and, and I know it seems like a lot, but I eat a lot of this. Because when you're eating healthy, you can eat so much healthy foods or whatever. As you see, I put these colorful bell peppers in here or whatever. And I always get a bag of these uh, fresh mini, um, fresh mini uh cucumbers because I make my own pickles and I'll show you how to do that as well. How to pickle a pickle. Try saying that a lot a lot. A lot. Okay, so now that we got the majority of the things that we need. Oh snaps. I'm missing something. Let's type in mushrooms. Because I don't want to miss out on that. Because I love mushrooms. I I love the, ba the baby portobellos. And I love the huge portobellos. You get like two in a pack and they're huge. And I always get... The white, I used to, I used to get the white ones all the time. So if I don't see the portobellos, I will get these. Okay, let me show you. I typically get a, ba a whole baby portobellos or brown mushrooms, okay? And um, I typically get the baby portobellos. And if, and if I don't have, if I don't see these, then I will get the white slices uh, which is the same thing as these ones, but I typically get the whole ones because I like to slice them myself. But if you don't want to slice them yourself and you want them to already be pre-sliced and prepared, you get you get this for like a dollar nine um ninety eight eight ounces and it's pre-sliced. But like I said, I see the mushrooms that I typically get, so I go with these. You can get either one of these, and if you don't eat mushrooms, don't add this to your cart. Okay, so let's talk about some healthy alternative fats. Okay, so I'm going to 
do something a little bit different. I'm going to go to my... Let's go to my previous receipt. I don't see it. Let's do... Olive. Let's go back to it. Sorry about that. Um, oh, you guys. Get one of these or one of these. Please do, please do, please do. Because the reason why I say because, because I got one in my kitchen already, so I don't need to get a second one. But you know what? I am going to get a second one. I'm going to get another one. I'm going to get another one. Okay? And you don't have to get uh, this name brand one right here or this one. You can also get the great value. Matter of fact, I'm going to get the great value. I typically get the name brands, the old fashioned. I never get the that one, but you can. Please get one of those three, cause it's a delicious recipe that I want to show you. Um, oh, I, I, I'm I'm going off of track. Uh, olive oil. I always get this because it's a hundred percent made in California, a hundred percent olive oil. Yeah, um, it's uh, and then it's also gold pressed because it says it right here, gold pressed. It's one of the best quality olive oils that you can get on the market for a reasonable price. Um, and I'll go over all of the oils that you shouldn't be getting. So yeah, I always get one of the one of those off of Walmart. So um, if you're tired of eating all that unhealthy type of oil, then get one of these. Get one of these. Get one of these. But um, and he, and this is the same one, but it's a little bit bigger. Um, and this is the one that I got in my house, which is the thirty, um, uh, the thirty three point eight, um, ounces of oil. Uh, because that's just me. And these are the only ones that I. Get. And please do not be deceived because this brand makes different types of oil. Make sure it has that 100% at the top and it doesn't say California uh, blend. Make sure it actually has that 100% at the top instead of, you know, um, blend. California blend. You don't want that. Now, another good healthy oil, it is, I will have to say, um, yeah, another good healthy oil, I will have to say, is avocado oil. Avocado is a really good healthy fat. If you didn't know, now you know. (laughs) And these are the two brands that I 
by. Okay. These are the two brands that I buy. This is the one that I have in my house because they had it on sale. So get one of these brands and add it to your cart. And you can pause the screen and you can do that now if you want. Or you can get this one, which is a little bit bigger. But I love them both. They're really great um, oils. Um, I have this one in my house right here. So I don't need to put that in the cart. But if you don't have this in your house, put this in the cart. And please throw away that other unhealthy oil. But I will be adding this to my cart because I don't have this spray oil. Yeah, I don't have this spray oil in my house, so I will be adding that to the cart, which I just did. And then another oil that I like to use is um, grapeseed oil. <sighs> Sorry for the yarning, you guys. Oh, snaps. <sighs> and this is the brand that I have in my house. You know? This is the one that I have, which is the 51 ounces. And literally, I'm almost out. But I got those other ones, so I don't really need to get another one. Something in my spirit is telling me to put it in my cart. But if I do, I'm not going to have any room for it. So maybe next month, I will put it in my cart. Now that we got all the oils and stuff that we like to use and that we will be using, um, I'm oh I I I almost forgot I use I use. But it has to be un unrefined. Unrefined meaning un not superly processed. It has to be organic. No uh bleach to turn it a, a, a really deep white. So as far as the oil is concerned, I don't use the I don't get I don't get this at all because it's it's refined and I don't like things that has been overly refined, overly reduced, overly saturated, overly treated. I don't like it at all. So, no 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 no. Okay? Um so I'm going to go back uh okay? <sighs> okay, and show you the one that I typically get. And now that I'm now that I'm thinking about it, it's actually gone. But this is the one that I get, which is the Great Value Organic Unrefined Version. Coconut oil, 14 ounces, which is a little bit under half, maybe two ounces under half of a pound of coconut oil. You can use this in, as a substitute for butter if you don't want to use actual butter. 
or whatever. And then um, I don't know if they have a bigger one in here. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I always get one of these. And I'm only getting another one because I'm running out. And then um, I have a lot of... I I use a lot of um, apple cider vinegar and stuff like that. So make sure you get the grandmother, uh, which is the Brad the Brad um, apple uh, cider uh, vinegar, raw, unfiltered, um, unpasteurized, pasteurized. I can't see the other things because I, I have it in screenshot mode. Um, but yeah, get one of these and make sure it's the grand, the, the Brad, the mother. The, um, and when people say, with the mother, with the mother, <laughs> they're talking about that sign where, where it says with the mother up here with the mother. So 20, I mean, well, 32 ounces. It's about two pounds of um, apple cider vinegar. And a lot of people put like a, 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 a teaspoon in their water or whatever. It helps with weight loss. So put it in the cart. Okay, and I'll show you great ways to use that. Put it in the cart. So we're at $100. And that's with the vegetables and with the juice and things of that nature. And the oatmeal and everything like that. So we're just going over everything. Boom. Boom. And all of this is the stuff that I had uh, looked at last month that I had decided to get. That I just never really got. Or whatever. And I wish, so don't really pay attention to this because this whole section says save for later. And these are items that I had in my card that I decided not to get because um, we we both decided on getting the big one because it made more sense. Um, and I got this one down here, uh, Just Eggs, which is a vegan plant-based eggs, which I wanted to try so badly but they don't have it but i have it saved for later so whenever they do have it i can be able to get it or whatever and you can get about two of them for five dollars and nine cents so about you know um ten dollars and 18 cents probably not including taxes for two bottles of those um but like they like it does they don't have any it's not in stock but Next time I come online, I don't have to find it because it's hard to find it when you just type in just eggs. So, um, anyways, let's go on. Um, so, we got all the veggies that we're going to need. We got all the healthy oils that we're going to need and stuff like that. So, let's go and get the fruit. Let's go and get the fruit. Me, personally. I eat a lot of bananas. So let's try to get as many as we possibly can. And they're only 25 cents. So let's just type in 10. Because what we, what we don't eat, we can always put in a sandwich bag and put in the freezer. And now that I think about it, I have 8 of them in the freezer at home. So I probably don't need 10. But for, your, for you guys who don't have any, get 10. I'm just going to get, like, maybe six or whatever. Um, oh, and you guys get, try to get, like, a, and you don't have to get this from Walmart. Because this is extremely too much for blueberry. But try to get some blueberries elsewhere, a, a big container of it. Um, maybe about two ounces or maybe two carts, I mean, pints, 
however you say it, of blueberries, fresh blueberries. Or you can get the frozen blueberries, um, whichever one is on sale. Um, I have frozen blueberries. I have bought like a, a big container of two pounds of blueberries at um, from Kroger's last month. And I didn't want them to get bad, so I washed them really good in apple cider vinegar, squeezed a little bit of lemon juice on them pat them dry put them in a sandwich bag and I froze them and I also have a frozen bag um well that well the one I'm talking about is fro it's frozen with uh raspberries that I got but I also got a frozen bag of blueberries but if you don't have blueberries uh pick up a car carton of those either frozen or fresh it doesn't really matter because we'll be using that we'll be using that I don't really care too much for green. Um, yeah, I don't really care too much for the green grapes. They never have uh, uh, black pits or whatever plums. They never have black plums available or they never have yellow um I'm sorry, I was having a brain fart. They never have, um, oh, whatever. <sighs> um, so, <sighs> here's something that you guys didn't know. I don't like watermelon. I can eat any other melon except watermelon. Like I can eat honeydew, which is the yellow, I mean the green one in the inside. Or I can eat cantaloupe, which is the melon with the orange one in the inside. But I can't eat watermelon. I don't like the taste. So I'm just going to just type in the fruits that I like, which are grapes. I love black grapes, so I always get those. I always, and, and these are seedless. A lot of people will call them genetically modified grapes or a.k.a. retarded grapes because they don't have the seeds. You always want to go for the ones that do have the seeds. They're more ideal so i always put one in one in my card one which is the seeded grapes and then the ones that are the black grapes because i like those but if this w if to be honest if they had these red grapes right here at the top available i would have gotten those instead of the seeded but they don't so I always get one and one. So do do as you like. Get whatever fruit that you like. Um, I always just get one of the black uh, seedless grapes and then one of the red go global uh, seeded grapes. And that's what I always get um, as far as the fruit is concerned because it's something that you can grab real quick, have a couple of snacks, and you don't have to worry about a lot of extra stuff because I already got frozen fruits in my freezer so um this is typically what i get as far as that is concerned now for those who like butter because we all like butter this is a great quality brand you can either get the um unsalted or you can get um, the, the the unsalted is this one. It's butter with no salt. And this is the one that has salt. And the reason why I love this Irish, um, um, this pure Irish butter is because 
it's from, you know, grass-fed cows. And it's a great quality. And you typically get like a a big 8-ounce uh, piece a block of butter. And that's good enough for me. And I always get one and one. Because you never know if a recipe requires unsalted butter or salted butter. But for those who can't have sodium, please get the one in the gray. Um, if you scroll down here, they also have this one, which is the, which is the same thing as the... T- it's the same thing as the salted butter at the top. But instead of having that one big-ass block, you'll see that they have multiple they have like the individual blocks okay so you can either get that as well it's the same as the one at the top i do not get any of these um butters i can't believe it's not butter because it's not butter and it's and i don't know what it is it's not even margarine i don't know what it is it has a whole bunch of extra stuff in it that i don't want in my body so um soybean oil is the worst um palm oil is the worst they have that in it they have a whole bunch of artificial natural flavors which is artificial in nature and i don't want shit to do with this excuse my language so all of these other stuff is not good for the body not good for consumption um they even have this and I'm not really sure about this. Let's read the ingredients. Because they have to do a lot of extra stuff to make it spreadable. I don't know. It's made by the same brand, so maybe. Um, so maybe. But I would just get the guy. Yeah, I, I, you know. So that's that on the butter is concerned. And so far, we have fifty four items in the cart. And I don't know if you guys have food stamps or not. <laughs> I don't qualify. For that, based upon the money that I make, but um, for those who do have food stamps, all of these items you are able to purchase with your EBT card. Um, so we have the cranberry juice, we have the oatmeal, we have the healthy butter, or you can get. And if you're lactose intolerant. But you want butter, but you're lactose intolerance. You can always get ghee, and ghee is the same thing as butter, but it's pasteurized. It's pasteurized butter, and pasteurized butter is basically um, butter that you take and you boil down. Um. Yeah, you boil down the uh, yeast or whatever. And you can do that with real butter. You can take the butter that I just told you that's good to buy, and you can put that whole block in a pot or pan and boil it down slowly and get the white stuff that comes up to the top. And that's how you make your butter, you know, um, you know, uh, if that's how you are able to use butter um if you're lactose intolerance <laughs> okay so uh this is the only brand of ghee that i've ever purchased and it lets you know that if you're on the paleo diet or Whole 30 approved, which I don't know what that is, or keto, it's approved, but um, yeah, so there you go. But, anyways, let's go back to the card because so far we spent $117.09. Okay, so we got the cranberry juice, 
We got um the oatmeal. We got the two butters. You And you guys probably have a little bit of extra stuff in your cart. Because a lot of the oils and stuff I didn't have to get. Because I already had. But I went over the oils that I have in my house that I will be using. The fruit that I like to... uh yeah, the fruit that I like to uh, eat for snacks. I got the bananas. I didn't get 10 of them because, like I said, I already got bananas in my freezer that I didn't eat last month that I frozen. I took the peel off, put them in a sandwich bag, cut them in half, put them in the freezer. They're easy to pop in smoothies when you take your fruit and you freeze them. They're, fr- they're fresh fruit that you freeze. So you don't have to use ice. <laughs> I got my portobello mushrooms. I got my brown um, host mushrooms. Which I call them baby portobellos. Because that's what they look like. And then I got these fresh mini uh, cute coppers. Because I'm going to show you guys how to pickle them and make pickles, fresh pickles, or whatever, at home. I got my different color bell peppers. I got my broccoli. I got my asparagus. I got my Brussels sprouts. I got my um, sweet potatoes, which is a healthy alternative to regular potatoes. I have uh my bok choy, which is kind of like a Japanese or a Korean style cabbage, which is really good and easy to cook. I got um, my red cabbage because it's health is more healthier than all of these cabbages. <laughs> um, I have my Napa cabbage, which is a lot of uh, which is which is kind of like a a. A Korean kind of cabbage. You can use this to make um, kimchi, which is a Korean fermented cabbage dish, which is, it has multiple health properties. Uh, I have my regular cabbage, but it's organic. I have my mustard greens and my um, turnip greens and my kale and then I decided not to get fresh uh, zucchini. I decided to get this bag. Each bag costs a dollar fifty six, and it's already pre cut. And it, it says it's just zucchini, a zucchini blend. But if you ask me, it looks like a zucchini and yellow squash. Um, I decided to get uh two bags of. Of the value steam peas and carrots. Um, it's 84 cents a bag. Uh, to get two bags, it costs a dollar sixty-eight. I decided to get one bag of the mixed vegetable, I mean, the mixed vegetable uh, freeze. It's two pounds of mixed vegetables, 32 ounces um and then i decided to get the bird eye sauce uh stir fry uh frozen which is really good the sauce is it's really good you can put meat in it you can eat it plain because i've had it plain before i decided to get the bread uh apple cider vinegar raw unfiltered uh, un- and unpasteurized with the mother. Uh, I decided to get the avocado. I mean, uh, uh, what is this? Uh, the great value unrefined. Make sure it's unrefined, not refined. Unrefined uh, version um, coconut oil because I'm running out and I don't have any. Uh, like, you can use it for cooking. You can use it for the skin, the body. Uh, I, I just don't have any more. Well, I have a little bit. I have half a, uh, a jar left, but I'm I'm running out. So, I got some of that. And that was optional. You don't have to put that in the cart. Um, 
it's uh it's another one of those heart healthy oils and then um this is uh chosen uh foods um yeah chosen foods um avocado oil non stick uh I decided to get that because I because I don't have any non stick spray and when it comes to non stick sprays they're not healthy for you at all they're terrible but um this brand is actually good um this is the same brand that I get my regular olive oil in and I showed you guys the two olive oils that I get I also decided to get uh four cans of the great value tomato with green peppers and celery and onions uh and it cost it all together um two dollars and eighty eight cents uh you get four uh cans each can is seventy four cents I know I said no no canned foods no can that I have a food processor and you know I could do all these things myself, but you know it's not that bad to have one can uh because we're gonna be making that cabbage stew uh what else? I also have a bag of potatoes. Now, now, you guys, it's time to get your protein. Chicken. This is the brand that I typically use. I typically get chicken thighs. And people say, why do you get chicken thighs? Why do you get boneless chicken thighs? Because they're tender. They're juicy. It's like, why do you get boneless chicken breasts? It's the same thing. But I typically get that. This brand. Uh, whatever. And if they don't have that, you can also get one of these brands. But it looks like it's out of stock, all three. But if it's not, if it's in stock, just because it's out of stock where I'm at, where you at, it may not be out of stock. So, yeah. Or I typically get... This which is not that bad because you get two twin birds uh and their whole uh chickens and I like seasoning whole chickens and splitting them down the middle and baking them and meal prepping that way. But that's out of stock, too. It seems like everything is out of stock at Walmart. Uh, I would say just get any chicken breasts of your kind. Either chicken breasts or chicken thighs or bowlish chicken t uh, strips or whatever. Uh, yeah. I will not be getting my chicken here because they don't have anything at my facility, at my Walmart. Everything is out of stock. So I will be taking you guys with me when I go to Sam's Club. Uh, I will be taking you guys with me when I go to um, Kroger's. So I'm going to check out right now and I hope you enjoyed this video and um, the stuff that we have in the cart which is a lot of good stuff and it's going to have us doing so good. Oh, and you can also, oh, I'm also going to, uh, yeah, I'm going to also, yeah, I'm going to also throw in two green bell peppers. And, um, it's always best to get fresh garlic, but I'm going to throw that in there. Oh, and 
I don't eat pork. So these are my breakfast sausages, my morning star breakfast sausages. So I'm going to throw that in the cart. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah. We have everything that we need. And we don't need anything else. The only thing I threw in the cart was this uh, garlic. And if you have fresh garlic, that's even better. That's even better. You know what? Let's see if they have fresh garlic. Oh, yes. Okay, so this is up my pace. This is what I normally get. This is basically fresh garlic, but you don't have to peel it. You don't have to peel it because it's already peeled in individual bags. So I tend to get this, this, this right here. And I tend to get this because it's already... This is also fresh garlic that's been... Um, sque I mean, that's been smashed down into a paste. So these are the two that I always get. So I'm glad that I was I, I, I took that other stuff out of my cart, which would have cost me more and wouldn't have been up to my standards. And got these two things. So $139. No, well, let me stop lying. So $130. And you get 59 items. So I'm going to get ready to clock out of here. We'll check out. And then we're going to go over my groceries that Walmart has given me. And we're going to go from there. Well, the next video, we're going to, the next video, we're going to go, go through the stuff that Walmart delivered. A piece.